Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I was wanting to do something a little bit more chill, a little bit more relaxed, something that doesn't really take as much planning as some of my videos often do, and just something that's a little bit of fun. So naturally we're doing a tag. I was tagged to do the book design tag by my friend Izzy over at Izzy Reads a little while ago now so I thought it was the perfect time to film that. Izzy is such a great booktuber if you haven't seen her before. She is so sweet, so lovely and she comes across really great on camera. She also has a really good taste in books, it's very similar to my own so <laughs> if you like me you'll love her and I'll leave her channel linked down below. So this tag basically just celebrates beautiful book designs which is really nice and it means that we get to look at lots of pretty things. So question one in this tag is a book that you bought primarily or completely because of the cover. So my answer for this question is going to be Neil Gaiman's North Mythology and this is a collection of retellings of North myths. So I didn't solely buy this book because of the cover, I already had an interest in it, I thought it sounded pretty cool and I already really like Neil Gaiman as an author, so I kind of did want to pick it up anyway but I just wasn't really gonna go out and spend the money on it. But then when I saw it in a charity shop for a bargain and I saw just how pretty it was, I thought, well, it's worth a couple of quid because of just how nice it looks. <laughs> What's funny about this book cover is that it isn't the kind of book cover that I'm typically attracted to. I'm not really drawn to dark covers all that much, or covers that have a lot of metallic effects on them, but this has just done it for me for some reason. I just love the copper and the black on this, I think the contrast of the two looks really really cool and they work really well together, and it continues onto the spine as well. So I just think this is a pretty awesome cover. I also really like this dabbled effect on the front that makes it look like stars. Question two in this tag is a book that you want to buy that has a beautiful cover. So for this question, I think I'm gonna answer with all of Ali Smith's seasonal books. So I've only read one Ali Smith in the past. I read How To Be Both a few months ago with my friend Jason and I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good and I'm really keen to read more by her. So I want to read these anyway and they just happen to have really beautiful covers. I absolutely love these covers. There's something so satisfying about them being all uniform but using a different colour and a different image based on the season that the book's about. I don't know, I just really love that. I find them so understated and just stunning. Question three is your favourite series design. So I don't know if this question means series of books, like when a book comes out and then the next one follows it and the next one follows that, and if that is the case then I don't really have an answer for this, I don't tend to read many series and none really stand out to me. So for this question I'm going to take favourite series design to mean cover editions of books, so like a collection of books that all have the same design that you really like. So for this question I have to answer with the Penguin English Library editions of the classics. I just have a little selection of them here to show you but I have many many more. <laughs> I absolutely love these editions of the classics, I love that they all have the traditional orange penguin colour in them and I love the striped spines, I think they're so beautiful and so satisfying when they're all lined up together. <laughs> and I also really like that on the front of all of them they have a different object based on what's relevant to the book, so in Howard's End there is an umbrella, so an umbrella's on the front, and on the front of A Study in Scarlet there is investigative things. Question number four is dust jacket, a book with a beautiful dust jacket or something unexpected under the jacket. So for this question I have to answer with A Poem for Every Day of the Year edited by Ali Asirai, and this is probably one of the most stunning books I own. So this is just what it says on the front, it is a collection of 365 poems, one for every day of the year, ranging from poets from hundreds of years ago to the contemporary day. I am absolutely in love with this cover, just look at the colours and the gold and the illustrations. Ugh. There is also actually another one of these books that kind of goes alongside it, which is A Poem for Every Night of the Year, and that also has a beautiful cover. It is much darker because it's for nighttime, not daytime, and has more kind of moon and star imagery on it, and it is so beautiful. I definitely plan on buying that for next year. <laughs> Question five is Naked Hardback, a gorgeous book that has no dust jacket. So I've actually stolen one of Cameron's books to give an answer to this question, and that is his folio edition of The Hobbit by Tolkien. This is just stunning, isn't it? I mean, the folio editions are known for being really beautiful. You can see the swirls on here and the dragon on the front, and then on the spine it has the 
really classic Tolkien writing. Cam was actually given this one as a gift from his mum. His mum actually had it for many years and has now passed it down to him. So this is a pretty special one and one that we'll be keeping for a very long time, I'm sure. Question six is a beautiful paperback. So for this question, I have to answer with Robert C. Thal's paperbacks of The Tobacconist and A Whole Life. I think these are my favourite paperbacks of all time. I just love how simple and understated these book covers are. I love the white on both of them and the fact that the white is paired with just one other colour. So this one's a kind of burnt orange and this one is a green. And I love the different tones of that one colour that's used in the image. I also really love how this colour reflects the writing at the top and on the spines. And I also love the italic font. I just think these are so beautiful. There's just something about them that I absolutely adore. And if I ever wrote a book, I'd want them to look something like this. Question seven is a non-fiction book with a lovely cover. My answer for this question is definitely Rosie by Rose Tremaine and this is Rose Tremaine's memoir. It only came out earlier this year I believe, I think it's pretty new and I still haven't read it which I really really need to do. <laughs> I think this cover is so classy and so beautiful and perfect for a memoir. I love the paper that's been used, it's this really gorgeous cream paper that feels really good quality <laughs> and I love that they've paired it with these deep colours so there's kind of a maroon here and a deep purple here and that kind of continues onto the inside as well and onto the spine where there's gold <laughs> and I absolutely love that they've used old photographs on the front and back as well I just think they are so, so beautiful. Question eight is a book with great end papers. So my answer for this question is Little Women by Louise May Alcott. This is one of my favourite books of all time, but I only actually got this edition of it last Christmas. My mum got it for me for a Christmas present because up until then I'd basically just stolen her copy and she wanted it back. So this is one of the penguin thread editions that look like they've been sewn. So if you look really closely you can see that it looks like there's little stitches everywhere both on the front and on the back. And this continues onto the inside as well. So on the inside of the flaps you can see all the little loose threads that have come through the back. I just think this is so clever and sweet. I just think it's so adorable and I think it fits really well with Little Women as a book. Question nine is Spine, a book that looks just as gorgeous spine out as it does face out. My answer for this question is definitely Homegoing by Yagayasi. This is a brilliant book all round, but I love the cover basically just as much as I love the story. And that's not just because I think it's absolutely stunning, but it's also because I think it fits really well with the story. So this is a historical novel set in Ghana and America from the 1500s to the present day. And I just think this is such an amazing cover. I love how vibrant it is. I love the red and the orange and the yellow. I love the prints. I love the geometric kind of style of the flowers and the woman in the center. I just think it's so awesome and the spine is just as beautiful as the front. I mean, look at that beautiful bold spine. I love this book design a lot, it makes me really happy whenever I see it. And finally, question 10 is tag some friends. So today I'm going to tag four people to do this tag if you fancy it, and those people are going to be Tom from TJ Reads the Stars, Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction, Laurie and Thomas Dawson from Laurie and Thomas, and Matt from MCS Books. So that's going to be it for this tag guys, I hope you really enjoyed watching this kind of more relaxed and fun video, I definitely really enjoyed filming it, and I'm really excited to see more people do this, I just think it's a really lovely tag, and so if you want to do it and I didn't tag you then definitely please do it and consider yourself tagged by me. Thank you very much for watching everyone, as always I appreciate you all so so much. I hope you're all well and I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye everyone!